Hello friends, welcome to my first video showing recent changes into Homer 2D, exclusive to my Teamug and Teapot supporters here on Patreon. More on the other changes coming soon shortly, but first let me just show you this change. So what's happened into Homer 2D is the way you move frames and columns has changed. So when you first download and start using Homer 2D, you can simply click and drag on a frame to move it anywhere inside the square and you can do so with earlier frames so you can drag number one over here number two i can put into a separate column there or move any of the other column frames around let's just put these back so we've got all three frames together and also adjusting the position of the columns you can just click and drag on the columns to adjust where they're shown Again, anywhere inside the cell, exactly as you'd expect as a new user to Tahoma. And because you click and drag on a frame to move a single drawing, if you want to move two drawings together, say number one and two here, you select on one of the frames, hold the shift key and select on the other. And now I can drag them both together as two frames. Or again, to select all three frames, I'll click on drawing number one, hold shift and then click drawing number three and all three are now selected. You see a small change in the color of the frames there and you can click on any of the three frames and drag them away into any other column. And this change is how Tahoma comes out of the box when you first start using it. But what if you prefer the old style of moving frames or columns? Well, you can simply revert back to that in the preferences dialog. If you go to the scene section and near the top you can see this tick box show column and cell drag bars and as you tick this you'll notice the dark gray bar appear at the top of each frame here and above each column so if i turn that off and on a couple of times and you'll see that change there and then you can simply click and drag using the bar at the top of a frame or click and drag over multiple frames and then drag that bar if that works better for you. But personally, I find clicking the bar at the top of the frames really fiddly, especially when using a stylus. So I will be turning that option off and leaving it off. So that I can simply click and drag any drawing really quickly to adjust its position. And this will come in handy with the next feature that I'll be showing you next week which is the new implicit frames feature. So this change isn't in the nightly build or the current version at the minute, but you can download it now from the PR that you can see linked down in the description or one of the later PRs. So this is a pull request for some fixes for this feature. And you'll see it's on GitHub where the code is. So you have to log into GitHub to see this. So once you've clicked the link, simply go to the checks section click on that and then for your OS type if I expand this because I'm on Windows I can see that the Windows built okay it's got the tick there so I can click on the item above here and then in the artifact section you can see two downloadable versions the installation and the portable version so click on whichever you prefer I like using the portable version of Tahoma now I can have more than one version on my computer at once and then when that's downloaded, I can simply unzip it and use it as usual. And again, this is a change only into Homer. It's not yet in OpenTunes. Hopefully it will make its way over there at some point for the people that like using OpenTunes. And I use both programs, but these small changes really do make a difference to how you work. They make working with the Homer easier and speed up your workflow. But people often ask me, which is better, OpenTunes or Tahoma 2D? And I always say they are 99% the same. Most of the features that you need are in both programs. So I say choose whichever program works best for you and your workflow. But there are plenty of quality of life small changes which can make working with Tahoma much easier. So often I recommend new users to use Tahoma 2D. And some of these small changes I'll be highlighting over the coming weeks, so do watch out for those. But overall, the interface has been simplified and adjusted for the home user 
rather than for a studio user, which OpenTunes was made for. So some of the changes that I'll be talking about over the next few weeks, I've already mentioned the implicit and explicit frame feature that I'll talk about next. We've now got the ability to have folders on the timeline into Homer 2D. You can do vector interpolation on the timeline, frame range fills for all level types. There's a new FX browser room, dockable panels, and so many more features that I'll be talking about here on Patreon. So do keep an eye out for those. There's also fixes to the vector import, but I won't be demonstrating those. You can read about them on the pull request pages. And these videos will all be here on Patreon for my Teamug and Teapot supporters, with a few other treats for my Teapots as well. The first of which I'll be recording soon, and will be a chat about what I'm working on and some behind the scenes chat, so do check that out. So I'll see you next time for another new feature into Homer 2D, and that's a Darren Tee.